It is almost 11 p.m. here on, what is today, Monday, March 6th, 2023? Yeah, because yesterday was the 5th. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, just basically ready to get stuff kind of organized before I go to bed, but um, I was at least kind of successful at doing kind of like half, half the Yamanote today. Uh, my original plan was to hit up some places like around Kanda and uh, Shibuya for lunch and dinner, hopefully. But uh, I found out, I think I mentioned probably, sorry, doing it handheld. <laughs> so I'm trying to make it quick. Uh, I think I mentioned yesterday that I was trying to do stuff like that for, for food. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, they might not be open. No, they weren't. They're not open till Wednesday. So uh, that kind of shot the plan in the foot at least a little bit and when I woke up today I was like oh do I just want to do I want to not go out today and I said no screw it let's go let's go do something and at the very least I went back to uh Takara no Baba and went back to back to Mikado I kind of did a little bit of filming in there just like a walkthrough I don't know how how good it looks because I did did it with my my Osmo action which is just my like my standard action camera and I had a chest mount on there to try to you know, <laughs> be a, be a little sneaky and, and get some filming in there. And I don't think it looks great because they still have partitions on all the machines. So I don't know what it's going to look like. You really can't see some of the screens on that. And, uh, I mean, it's footage. I'll make some use of it. Uh, but I, I figured out cause I saw a sign on the front of the main building for them and they're like, Oh yeah, down the street, here's this. And I'm like, Oh yeah. They did a, a, a crossover with Natsuge Museum, who was in like Nerima, Nerima Ward, I think. I don't remember. Uh, but they had an extra building that, near the main, you know, Mikado Game Center where they took over two floors and there's some pinball machines. There's some older uh, stuff there on either floor. So I'm like, oh, cool. I'll go check that out. And that's the footage that you see at the beginning of this video, which is... Uh, the second floor is older, older arcade machines, and the bottom floor was the pin, the pinball machines. A lot of older pin, pinball machines, and some light gun stuff, including a Golly Ghost, which I've never seen in person. Which is a light gun game, but it projects video images onto that. But if you, if you see like doors and stuff opening, those all are mechanical contraptions in the machine, and it's it's a lot more obvious when you watch the. Uh, when you watch the demo that goes that it cycles through before you play a game and then you can you can hear all the mechanisms fire off inside the cabinet it's kind of cool uh, I went up to Nishi Nippori because there was a place I knew of there called GameSpot Versus that I wanted to check out and I got there and it was probably <laughs> probably bad that I went there after Mikado but I think it would have sucked anyways because it was one floor mostly super turbo that seems to be all i remember them doing through like uh promotions on trying to change my arm there hold on there we go um that i remember them doing through twitter and youtube and i got there and it smelled like cigarette smoke and there was not much else to check out so i was like okay cool and i hopped right, hopped right back on the train and went to uh akihabara probably for the last time i don't know we'll see but I finally went to um, Aoshima Shokudo, Aoshima Ramen, and got some food there. Once again, very good. Excellent uh, ginger soy sauce based soup. I think it's chicken bones as part of the soup too. It's quite oily and scaldingly hot. You cannot go to Aoshima without burning your mouth at least once. And after that, after that I went back to just hitting up some of the shops I'd already hit up where I'm like, okay, I'm going to do like one last round on these places, look for some of the stuff I've been searching for and see what happens. I got a couple of things that um, I remember. I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably take a look for that. It's a couple of PS2 things. Nothing crazy though. And just dealing with people and then realizing, oh, I got to try to get out of here and everybody's leaving. I actually didn't take the Yamanote to get out of there. I took the Chuo line back to Shinjuku and then just changed to the Yoda Q and took took it the rest of the way and then got back out here to Asagi probably I don't know 8 30 ish and finally had KFC in Japan 
Uh, there's been one near Aiko Ishida. Every, I've seen it for years every time I've come here and I'm like, I've never eaten there. So I said, screw it, I'm grabbing dinner there. Uh, they still have twisters on the KFC menu. So a teriyaki twister is pretty good. I got one of the boxes that had the twister, piece of chicken, a biscuit and fries. And it was like, I don't know, eight ninety with tax. So not too bad, it's got a drink as well. Uh, it's KFC, you know, it was a chicken breast that they gave me. It's pretty good. Uh, the twister was good. The fries were nice and fresh. Uh, the biscuit with the, hap the honey maple sauce is really good. I got to go back and get a bottle of that to take home. I think that would be nice to have. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's KFC. It's like, what can you really say other than, I think I'm more impressed by the fact that it didn't suck because <laughs> I'm so used to KFC in the States. I've had like one KFC in the past where they were not like complete dog shit. And I'm, I'm talking over the course of like two decades. Like KFC is always one of those places where it's like, this is good until you order and they fuck up your order or they, something happens or the quality is just bad. The service is bad. doesn't matter. So yeah, uh, got back here probably like 9.30ish or so and brushed my teeth, took a shower. Gonna try to clear up my larger backpack because I got to do laundry tomorrow. So I got to put all the dirty laundry in there and take it with me down to the coin laundry place and because I got a lot to do anyways I don't want to try to do it here at the house and get everything cleaned up so I'm gonna do that now which means probably the next time you hear from me will be tomorrow <laughs> at the coin laundry as I'm just killing time waiting for stuff to be done so yeah we'll leave it there sorry there's lots of camera shakes on this one but um in any case thanks for watching uh, stay safe stay well watch out for weirdos out there and we will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Again, as I already said that, as uh, repeating myself, sure. Anyways, we'll see you guys later. Have a good night or day or anything where you're at right now. Yep, sign-offs are hard. Sign-offs are always hard. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.